What is up, everybody? Bosco back here. Episode 3 on the Lover Fellow Server. How's everybody doing? We've just been working hard here at our little villager hall, listening to these guys make all their rrr, 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 noises. But fortunately, they have not been struck by lightning since we put this uh, beautiful new roof up here. And uh, I'll probably add some designs to this roof before it's all said and done. But we got a little island up here as well with some piggies and cows and sheep and chickens. So if you want to come in here and get some meat if you're hungry or just get the meat and trade with the with the butchers and with the leather workers and with the uh, those guys for the feathers, whatever they're called. But yeah, you can do all that here once it's all said and done. And uh, I think it's coming along pretty nicely now. We got the grounds pretty much done, I think. So now it's really just time to start working on the walls and getting some more pixel art up here. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start doing that. All right, now all of the visible cobblestone that was there is gone. That's visible because I jumped, but it won't be visible when the wall's up, of course. So we went with uh, nether quartz bricks which I didn't even realize was a thing until recently. And uh, I thought it'd go really nice with the design we have here. I think it's looking good. Now, I should probably kill these guys too, get some of their goodies. But we're going to work on the pixel art portion of this. And now, not everything is going to be able to be made into pixel art. Most things, when you look at them, they are 16 pixels. You know, from top to bottom, bottom left, left to right, blah, blah, blah. Like, something like this, though, this is more than 16 pixels. If you start at the very bottom here and went all the way to the very top pixel there, um, I guess because they are like half pixels, at least the, the different the colors there. So I can't make that as pixel art, of course. So we're going to have to go ahead and make up some other things for some of these guys. And uh, for these guys, I think we're going to do a bookshelf as the pixel art. So let's give that a shot. There it is. Bookshelf is done. It is looking good. Nice and lit up against the uh, dark night sky here. And uh, dare I say, we're starting to make some progress. All right. And so the next on the hit list is going to be the butcher. And so we're actually going to do the smoker, which is a little complicated but uh, we're gonna go with this one as the pixel art for the butcher so let's try it out all right and there is the smoker all done i think it looks good and we also got a few other things done we got the cauldron done for the leather workers and we went with a hay barrel for the farmers because I know, I didn't want that. It's like a piece of poop, a little turd on the wall, which we don't want. So we got the hay barrel. Not too bad, not too bad. But we have two open spots left, and it is a little bit of a dilemma. Because look, that's looking pretty nice. I'm liking that. It's really coming along. But for these guys, you know, you could make this. But the pixels on the blade are actually smaller than the pixels on the actual... Um, stone cutter thingy, whatever this is here. So, what am I going to come up with these guys? Just stone? I have no clue. You guys are vexing me. And then we have the brewers, which I might be able to do the brewing stand as pixel art. I'm not sure though. It could be complicated. A little too complicated. So, maybe like a potion bottle or something like that. I was thinking about rotten flesh because that's what you trade really with these guys for the most part. You can really just like go to a zombie grinder and go nuts and just get a ton of emeralds with the uh, rotten flesh. But um, I am not too sure what to do for these last two guys. But then after these uh, last two pixel hearts are up, it's just time to do the wall. And then I also got a few other things because we're going to expand this thing. So we got... 32 cave spider spawners and we're working up for a zombie grinder as well. So we're maxed out on that. We've got 22 of those. So we're going to add those in down these hallways eventually. So you're going to have the animals, you're going to have the villagers, and you're going to have some some mob grinders in here as well. 
So, yeah, this should be the habit in place soon, hopefully. But um, once I get these two pixel arts figured out, we'll see what happens. Wait for it. Nice. All right, guys, so we got our final pixel art done. How excited are we? Got the stone cutter all complete. You know, the pixels on the blade were kind of uh, complicated. But we got it done. I think it looks nice in our own way. <laughs> and we also got the uh, brewing stand all complete. And uh, things are looking good. We got all the pixel art done now. We can take a look around. And it's looking nice. Now we just have to put the walls up. And then, uh, you know, the mob grinders will be coming soon as well. We've almost got enough zombie spawners here. 28. And I feel like an idiot because... I thought I saw a zombie spawn around there for 100,000, and so I was like, oh, I better buy that up quickly. Turns out it was a million, and now I feel so dumb. I'm kicking myself for that, so whoever put that up there for a million dollars, shame on you. Mad at you. But uh, also mad at myself, of course, for being so dumb. But we're going to keep grinding away here, and, uh, you know, might as well earn some emeralds here as well while I'm, while I'm doing this. And then... Uh, yeah, we are almost done. Super excited. So let's keep moving forward here. All right, guys. So we did it. We finally got all 32 zombie spawners. I'm flat broke, but we got our zombie spawner. So I'm happy. Now we have to start making the wall. And what I'm going to make the wall out of is smooth quartz. And so I bought up a lot of regular quartz. As you can see, quartz has the... Um, Distinct, distinguished lines, the block lines that you can see between them, but smooth quartz won't. And this pick now has auto smell five, which will, instead of having to put all of these blocks into the furnace to make them smelt into smooth quartz, I can just run through them like this, and now we have smooth quartz. So then when you put them together, they look all nice. No block lines like that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Pick up all these blocks and then start building the wall. Okay guys, so there is a new crate on the server. It's called the Galaxy Crate. And as you can see above me, they got stars and planets all above, all around here, which is looking pretty cool. So let's go ahead and see what we are gonna get from the Galaxy Crate. All right, check this place out. This is pretty cool looking. Wow. Nice. All right, enough of this nonsense. So let's go to the crate and see what we are going to get. So mainly there's a bunch of uh, good stuff for PV PvP, stuff that you can uh, blind people with. And uh, the shield does blinding stuff as well. And the bow has like fire aspect and says send people to the solar system. I don't know exactly what that means. But basically we're trying to avoid everything down here, which are like things you can eat or just decorations. We want this top row. So, without further ado. Shoot, oh, this is, I actually really wanted this. This is the fishing rod, which you can get some extra loot at night. So that's cool. I'm done with that. All right, sweet. Check it out. Looks pretty cool. All right, and there it is, guys. The wall is up, or the walls are up, I should say. Not the wall, not uh, not Trump here. So uh, the walls are up, and it's looking nice. We got Co James was over here working on getting our zombie spawner all uh, set up, which he's doing a great job out there. And we'll also have the spider spawner over there as well. Still got to work on getting the roof all fixed up. And then next on my list, though, is taking advantage of some of the uh, the guys we have over here. Because we got our new fishing rod here. The shooting star rod. But it doesn't come with anything else on it besides getting extra loot at night. There's no lure or luck of the sea, anything like that. So... It just happens we have some kind of uh, villagers out here that can help us out with that, right? Where are they at, though? I don't really know. Lure 3. Yeah, we'll take that. I do need some more emeralds, though. Not just emerald blocks, right? 
All right, so lure three. I think look at this three. Look at the C <laughs> three. Can't even say it. It's over here somewhere. There it is. All right, and then mending. Where's my mending guy? All right, so I think that's really all we need. Maybe I'm breaking. Did I see we had I'm breaking over here? I thought we had an unbreaking guy. Yeah, I'm breaking three. I don't have another book though. But I think we'll be okay with just putting these on here. We might put on breaking, but mending is gonna I think take care of us. So let's throw these books on and see what this thing can do. All right, so it is night at spawn. Let's go out here to the dock, see what this rod can do. Maybe we can get some of those uh, lucky shards that Fisherman Jack here wants so badly. All right, come on. Let's get that good luck. Okay, so we spent some time fishing here at spawn, and I have to say I'm pretty disappointed with what we uh, came up with in about 20 minutes here, because night never changes. So I don't know if this is some kind of factoring issue with the lame loot that I got here. But, um, yeah, it's not too good, eh? So let me go ahead and try this at a couple of my normal spots. And if this turns out to be a bust, we might be putting this up on the auction house. All right, guys, so we tried another night fishing with this guy here at my starting fishing hole. And this is what we got. Again, <laughs> major disappointment. I can't say how upset I am about how bad <laughs> this has been. So I think uh, it's time to put this thing up on the auction block and just hopefully we can get some some money for it and uh, make up for uh, all this disappointment that I'm suffering through right now. It's so sad. Okay, so the roof teardown has begun. We're collecting some of our blocks here. And I think the new pattern uh, for the roof is going to look really cool once it's done. We already started uh, a little section here. We're just going to keep the color scheme going per, uh, per quadrant, I guess you'd say. And uh, Co James is helping put some of the uh, white blocks around the lights, which gives us this kind of like diamond uh, pattern with the colored blocks that we're going to have uh, interconnecting with each other here. And the teardown, kind of fun, but you know, you're like, oh, I put all that work into putting this roof up. Now we just got to tear it down. But it did its purpose. None of our villagers got struck by lightning. You guys were all safe and sound. You're welcome. And uh, all right, let's keep going. All right, guys, so the ceiling is complete. What do you think? I think it looks good. I think it is looking good. So we got the colors, like I said, to match the quadrants here. And now if you look at my inventory, see that I have uh, some rotten flesh, carrots, potatoes, because not only is the ceiling done, but we got our Zombert grinder complete. So if you walk through here, got a nice pattern of obsidian and crying obsidian with a few zombie heads. And then uh, we move over to a little flowers because the zombie heads were creeping everybody out. So now we're in a nice calm setting with some mushrooms, I should say, not flowers. And then the zombies will come down here and we say hello with our rainbow sword and collect the goodies. So yeah, this is a max zombie grinder, and uh, they have been flowing pretty quickly down here. And uh, yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. I think it is looking nice. Our next grinder is going to be the uh, cave spider grinder, so you get string. So you get all the rotten flush, and uh, also some bonus iron and carrots and whatnot. Then you go over to uh, these characters over here and then you just uh, cash in all day long and when I mean cash in like this is what I mean by cash in emeralds for days but uh, each one of these if you stole these at the shop you can get like eighty five eighty six thousand dollars for them so we got over a million and a half dollars just in emeralds already here and uh, you can also even put them up in an auction house for, for like, you know, 
hundred thousand, and they can sell. You know, it's a reasonable price from the go on there. So yeah, this is a good place to make some money, and also, you know, grab some books, and you can grab some books for yourself or make some money from them. Uh, I labeled all of our librarians here with uh, all the goodies they're gonna have. So starting off with our friend here with Fortune Three. Then we got Looting 3 and Efficiency 5 guy here. He's a special character. We got Lure 3. Down there we also have Luck of the Sea 3, so it covers your rod. Curse of Binding, in case you want to play some pranks on somebody. And Breaking 3 as well. Some Smite, why not? Respiration 3 is good. Frostwalker 2 and Sweeping Edge 2 are okay, but, you know, combine them, you got 3 right there. Uh, there's my Luck of the Sea guy with a little bit of Bane of Arthropods. I don't know why you'd want that, but, you know, just in case you do. Knock back to channeling, silk touch, gotta have that. Impaling five and infinity, not bad. Depth strider three, a must. Aqua infinity as well with that guy. Protection four, fire aspect two, and then everybody's favorite, mending. So we'll take a quick tour of the rest of the places to show you guys what you can get or what you want to trade around here. So with our Fletchers here, good trades are gonna be uh, sticks, string, and feathers to get yourself some emeralds. And then over here, and we have all the animals to uh, provide the meats you need, except for rabbits. But, uh, you know, you trade the chicken, mutton, steak, uh, pork chops. Again, no rabbits. But, um, yeah, you can really, really get a lot of emeralds doing that. Um, it's one of my favorites. Of course, we already looked at the rotten flesh with these guys. Now the masons, um, you can trade stone if you have that for emeralds and whatever other blocks you have lying around in your inventory for some emeralds and you can also get some cool stuff as well from these guys um just in case you ever wanted some of this stuff if you have some extra emeralds so these guys aren't bad and then the farmers you can always just trade your potatoes and your carrots and wheat grab some emeralds from those guys the fishermen coal uh, is an easy one to come by uh, for trading emeralds here. Well, you can even trade boats. That's, you know, yeah, that as a trade option. So, coal and string for these guys is good. For these guys here, just the leather. I got everybody at a leather trade. So, get a bunch of uh, cows over there. You can see I left some steak, or some beef, I guess I should say, lying on the ground over there. But yeah, you can really rack up a lot of emeralds with the leather. And then we're back to our buddies the librarians who want all your emeralds for all these good books. So that is a quick review of all of our guys here. And um, I'm going to be opening this up very soon for people to uh, be able to set their homes here. And I think we're just going to do it for 50000 And uh, let's collect these goodies here. Hello. But uh, if you um, put in the comment section of the video, that you want it for 30k. Um, once you message me on the on the game here, I'll just uh, give it to you for 30k if I see your name on there under the comments section for uh, 30k. So that'd be a nice little deal you get just for uh, watching the video all the way through. But uh, yeah, I guess that will do it for this video. Should I do my famous sign off, sign off with everybody coming here? Um, maybe not this time. Maybe not this time. Just because we don't want uh, to open this place up quite yet. Or maybe good advertising. I don't know. I don't know. Um... All right. So we got some guys coming in here. Decided to do it. They have a bunch of popsicles running around here with. But thanks, everybody, for watching. They're destroying my animals. And uh, we will catch everybody in the next one. All right, guys. Later.